You hear me? We back. We back. <laughs> Happy birthday, C. You did. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, bro. Appreciate it, baby. Yeah. It's a blessing, bro. It's a blessing, man. It's a birthday week for us. My birthday Saturday, so you know. Yeah. You know, we fucking good. with Ross, Love man. It. We fucking with Ross, you heard me? <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking with we Ross. Go <laughs> Boss up by Rossy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking with Ross. <laughs> you feel me? Straight <laughs> up. You understand? We on, um, man. We've been, we been juicing in here right See, quick. See, that fucking game was fire. What well, was the Friday, game? Friday. Uh, Car- uh, Curtis Carr, uh, ESPN. Yeah. Aaron Anderson, number one prospect in the country. There you go, in the country. In the, in the Noodles top 300. Yeah, what, what he, what he yeah. is? 13 on ESPN? He's 13 Noodles on ESPN. Noodles got him number one. That's what matters, nigga. On the Noodles top 100. Aaron number, Anderson. Aaron Anderson, he the number one thing in the yeah, country. Man. You see? Oh. I'm, I'm, and, and, and say, bro, I'm fan. I'm fan. Wow. I'm fan. I'm fan. We gonna, I'm fan, bro. We going to lose him, bro. Quarterback situation. We? LSU, bro. We going to lose him. He committed to us, bro. They say Nick Saban was down here. Say Kenneth, brother. You know that's your little brother, brother. Look. Baton Rouge, brother. We need him in Baton Rouge. We can't let Nick Saban steal that. No, indeed, no, we can't let Nick Saban have that. He got too many toys. We can't let him have that, brother. No, indeed. He ain't going to steal him. I don't know. Because if he go to LSU, we a whole different program. He look like he that good. <laughs> oh, yeah, he. <laughs> we'll have some offense. He's serious. I, I want to give a shout-out to their defense, too. Hell, Curtis, the 50 yards rushing in the first half. You know, really, like, beat them by double digits. Beat them good, so. Man, dude had three, three kick returns for touchdowns, bro. Two punts and a kick. Two punt returns and it's a kick. It's that easy for home. Yeah, it's that easy, brother. <laughs> Look like we got a special one over there at Carl. I got to I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get to them Carl games this Wherever year. Wherever he go, it's true freshman action. He playing as a true freshman. True freshman. Action. Wherever he go, <laughs> you know, I just hope they don't steal him, bro. I hope they don't Nick steal Saban him. Nick Saban now, yeah. <laughs> Carl J just keep doing it, bro. Car looks so good, but then the quarterback ain't really helped. I thought it was his. He ankle. played it's though too, thumb. huh? All right, they let the dude play one series. Took him out, put your ball in, and just was running the ball. They say he ain't really ready, but they had let him play that game. His thumb, something wrong with his thumb. Throwing hand. AJ Samuel. AJ Samuel, he nice. I wonder what Le Chris did, man. Oh, he always do his little thing. He I always ain't even do check it. on with, with how, he, how he made out that game. It's just uh, they throwing it all over the field. They loaded. They got four, five wide receivers. They really could throw it to, bro. They dangerous <laughs> for real. Still, they dangerous, bro. I can't wait to see that game October 9th, Eastern and Cup, the for the district title. You know that's for the you know that's gonna An be early district title game. Yeah, <laughs> early. <laughs> Early, October 9th, that's when they play. Where they playing at? And I want to see it's on this side. I think Eastern, the home team. So it'll be at what, Pan Am or Tag Gone? It depends. Depends on if Brother Martin or somebody. But Eastern, like they feel. You know, Pan Am got the new good feel. Most likely it's going to be at Pan Am. Mm -hmm. They play their home game. Because I remember uh, the year Eastern went to the Superdome. It was the semifinals. You know, everybody in the city was knocked out. They still played that game at Pan Am. Right. And tag on, it was empty around the corner. They wanted to play in a pack environment, like, because really and truly. It's hard know, to really feel a tag on there. And tag on is a neutral site for everybody. Right. That ain't no home feel. You know what I'm saying? So, and we don't have no home feel. Like, I just no, left Dallas. I'm, they I'm got saying, Tag Gomlin in their backyard yeah. every school. Pan Am and Berman and Joe Brown stadiums like that, you're going to get that home feel because the, the stands is right behind the bench. Right. You can score a touchdown and go while you're at the bench drinking Gatorade, your mama right there telling you to come give her a kiss and shit. Ain't nothing popping that Tag Gomlin. You're going to kiss mama after the game. You know what I mean? Your pa come and talk to y'all. Your pa telling your son, come here and everything at, at Pan Am. You standing by the fence, <laughs> listening to your pa and shit. He fucking you up, got you doing all this shit. You heard me? Pan Am, that real home environment. Nigga, right there. Ain't no nigga hear you in the, on the field. You heard me? Yeah, that's that real home field. 
tag on and fuck. You know, 75% of the stadium be vacant. You know what I'm saying? That ain't really, that ain't no home field. But fuck home. That was the only game we had. Really this week. Oh, you got Eastern going to Catholic Baton Rouge. Eastern coming off a big win. They beat Scotlandville, which is a 5A school at Scotlandville. So that was a big, and they started the game off losing 21 nothing. Came back and won the game 42 to uh, 28. Damn. Came back and won the game 42 28 after losing 21 nothing. You know what I'm saying? They look good, and all look good, bro. They lost to, you know, I think the number three team in the state, Scotlandville, and all little known fact where Aug really outplayed them. This what told me Aug was the better team. The people scored twenty one points in forty six seconds in a forty six second span. I read that on Nola.com. I said, well, that lost the game right there. Aug lost by four points, but Damn. they gave up. 21 points in a 36 a second. Terrible minute. In a 36 second span, they gave up 21 points. Three touchdowns. He must have ran one back, threw the bomb, they kicked it to him, he fumbled. I don't know what happened, but all lost a bad one. Like, you know, all gave one away Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Now, all play Curtis Friday. I saw that. Yeah, so all should beat them. All should run all over them. All got the best, you know, offensive line in the state. If you was running it on Zachary, you gonna run it and on Curtis. And I Curtis. saw that the top two running backs didn't play yet. Say no. See, they was playing with the third string running backs. I, I just read that. Right then, you know they got brother Martin ranked number two, a three in the state. That Cali league gonna be gonna be nice this year. Cali league. Now this the first time like in a long time, Rummel. I ain't had nothing from Rummel. Nothing. This is like the first time. I uh, Rummel rebuilding or something. I, you know, I ain't had nothing coming out of Rummel, but Brother Martin St. All and Judgment, you know, that's who's going to battle for that district this year. Curtis, rebuild you with them. You know what I'm saying? As far as everybody else around the city, De La Salle, pretty good. They're number one and on 3A, which is good. Booker T look good, too. Booker T is 3A. They got, like, one of the top backfields in the state, two running backs, two top prospects they got. They're just a little shaky at quarterback. But they can hand it off every play. They running backs that good. Shit, Chad, man. <clears throat> the local way. Don't, don't move on. Don't move on to, the, uh, to this NFL, bro. Our fucking Saints, brother, and the game was our first letdown, bro. Look, bro, I'm going to tell y'all now. Don't Fuck. judge that game. You can't judge that game. We had our whole defensive coaching staff was out. We had four players uh, didn't play. And plus, it's a division game. We was just coming out stumping these people, 38-3, to three, Green Bay. You know what I'm saying? They kind of got their little reality check, if you ask me. This week was a reality check, but... The Saints was handed. The team was handicapped at, at the same time too. Like a lot of this shit missing, was missing. Man. Yeah, our whole defensive staff, our defense. Dennis Allen didn't call the game. That's it right there. The best defensive coordinator in the league wasn't there to call the game. He the best in the league the last five years. I mean, since he been in the Saints, he he been having the best defense. We yeah. uh top five passing and rushing. We the only team that. To be in both, though. Yeah, we top five passing and rush. Dennis Allen, he, he need to start getting that credit he deserves. What's that there, man? Out the menu, huh? That's all the boy. You hear me? Smoking sports podcast, you feel me? And if y'all got input in that back. Smoke papers, man. Look, y'all got, I want to say something in the back, say it. Y'all on wax. Say it, and we going to pick up on it. Man, yes, indeed. Huh? Eight, eight. Eight, eight. Eight, eight. Man, eight, no eight, indeed, Lawrence, man. Eight, no indeed, man. We got Sean Payton. We gonna bro. win that in our division. <laughs> we got Sean Payton, man. We gonna win that in our division. You don't think you we gonna me? win? We gonna win. Um, we gonna win five games in our division. Y'all gonna be that nine or twice? 
beat no, we're gonna beat Tampa twice and we're gonna lose that Atlanta. Love that's that's the Saints. You should know that already. We're gonna beat Tampa twice and Atlanta gonna beat us and throw a bomb at the end of something, man. You see the line. You, you know, yeah, we're gonna lose. I'm letting you know right now. Atlanta gonna beat us one of them times. Now look, what's lose. crazy though, Woo? The bitch said <laughs> we gonna we gonna fuck around, beat Green Bay. And we're going to do some same shit, lose to Carolina. I said that on the podcast. He said that week. about four weeks ago or something. I said like, that. For, I said we're going to beat like, Green Bay, and I said we're going to lose fuck. next week to Carolina. What's your prediction for this week, then? Prediction, we got New England. I'm going to the we game, gonna too. We're going to bust their ass. We in, in we going to beat the piss out of them. That's a rookie. Yeah. We going to see Sean Payton so get up for certain games. He got, like, be trying to prove shit and shit. He facing Bill Belichick. We're the rookie quarterback. He don't want that on that resume. Bill, I can't beat you. I can't. I beat you with the rookie quarterback. No, Saints money that's line. a yeah. No, Saints give up the punch. Saints money line. Saints sure. minus seven. Ooh. Yeah, Saints gonna beat the piss out of them. See, we can't. We can't. We can't. You can't give, give that like that. Everybody, you know, you gotta give. No, uh, uh, they ain't my yeah. pick yet. We, what I'm uh, saying, they, they no getting pick. points. Yeah, you talking about points. giving seven? I'm gonna switch it to them giving points. What that everybody ain't hip like that, dude. <laughs> Saints money line is way more understandable than Saints giving seven. They ain't the, the line is Saints getting three. Yeah, All right, you Take feel? Six. Yeah, you know they they may not know what the fuck we talking about. Yeah, my bad. The Say. the the deep down betters may know alternate lines. We can move them bitches and woo 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 woo. Right. But Saints money line, we feel like Saints gonna win the game. Yeah, I feel like Saints go with the game. Man, uh, they had a, they had a, they had a, they had a, they had a good. I got a good question for you. All right, out of out of these three rookie tandems, you got she lied. Tua and Jalen Waddle. You got Joe Burrow and Chase, right? Yeah. And you got Jalen Hurts and Devontae Smith. The question was. Which Who, college QB? Yeah, which tandem? Duo. Which college duo right now that's rookies? Well, they're not all not rookies. It's all, it's I all. mean, which one of these college, college tandems are these young quarterbacks? That I named them Hurts and Smith, Tua and Waddle, and uh, Burrow and Chase. And the question was. Who gonna have a better year? Now I'm gonna shock you with who I feel like gonna have a better year. It ain't gonna be Chase and Burrow. Hertz and Smith gonna have a better year out of them three tandems. Hertz and Smith, I see the connection already. Smith about to catch for over a thousand yards. That's why I say it's gonna be them. I ain't saying Chase gonna do it, but it just looked like that dude is feeding that bit. You know, uh, Chase had another 50 yard touchdown. Yeah, Chase had one too, though. Chase. That game. Chase, but I'm going I'm to I'm go ahead on and say just line. because they got to spread it around a little bit more in Cincy, a lot of more niggas got to touch the ball in Cincy. I'm going to say Hurts and, 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 and uh, that boy from Mello. Hurts and Smith going to have a better year, not career. Hurts and now, Smith going to have a better I year. I see this Burrow year. them just because. I feel like they're going to throw the ball a little bit more. Hurts, Hurts not going to throw it as much. They're going to play, try to play good ball, See that what get they first think. downs. Who, no, that ain't what they think. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're doing. That ain't what they've been doing. Them people been slinging iron, boy. Them yeah. people throwing you out. How many them? yards Hurts had? 200? They ain't slinging iron, nigga. I mean, it's the first two games. Them people throwing well, the ball. What you talking about? How they throwing the ball then? Joe Burrow going to throw this bitch 40 times or something. Joe, Hurts going through this bitch 20-something. You see James something. his first time, and we know he going he go to sling it. Jam, Jam, uh, How we know he going to sling it? James Winston on there had 198 passing yards the first game. Yeah, he only threw the ball 20 times. We don't know what James is going to do. We don't know how Sean P going to treat that. Joe Burrow throwing this bitch, <laughs> for sure. We throwing it. So I'm going to assume Jamal Chase going to have way more targets than Devontae Smith. And way more opportunity. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Hurts ain't they not? He's not just stopping, dropping back, throwing the ball. He's moving with his feet. He's getting, you know. Devontae Smith gonna have a good year, but Jamal Chase is gonna have more of an opportunity to have a good year. I think more balls gotta be touched though. 
See, Smith just got to shut the ball with that boy, man. That running back, Miles Sanders. I fuck with dude. Miles Sanders. Yeah, cold. but you talking about a quarterback who's not who came behind ball, who's man. not really a throwing quarterback. Even though he can no. throw it, he can throw the ball. I'm not saying he That's can't throw it. That's why he went to Oklahoma. All that shit out the window. What you mean Oklahoma's a system type of thing? Yeah, he, a system what they spread. I'm mean, I'm in that pocket slinging this bitch now. That's why he left Alabama. Like I, this discussion. That's not came why up. he left. Dang. He left because his spot was gone. I need to go play. <laughs> that too, but at the same time, listen. If that boy don't, if that boy don't leave Alabama, he not even in the league right now, even with that shot. Nick Saban them was really not. Nick Saban really not almost really fucked over his career. I'm gonna tell you why. Know what Nick Saban was doing with Hurts? Hut, run behind the line. Dude said, "Fuck that! I'm about to transfer to the number one passing school in the country and show everybody I can sit in the pocket and make reads and throw." And he went to Oklahoma and finished third in the Heisman. Showed everybody he could make reads and throw. The rest is history. He stayed at Alabama, wide receiver. Go to go to wide receiver, boy. Kick return and shit. Special teams and shit trying to make the team. I feel you. I don't think it would have been that bad yeah. wide receiver. He probably wouldn't have had the chance if he didn't go to Oklahoma. Yeah, if he don't and go to Oklahoma, Oklahoma. He wasn't just in no pocket throwing the ball. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Dude never changed the system. See, if you watched Oklahoma that year, that ball was throwing that bitch C.D. Lamb. Uh, yeah, uh, Hollywood was gone. I'm saying, you know Oklahoma C- system, bro. They throwing screens all day with this dude. They, woo, woo, woo. Ooh, fuck no, they throwing that bitch. And they was running with yeah, homie, man. They was running with homie just yeah. like they ran with Baker So he and didn't, all of them. he didn't just. He did the same shit Baker Mayfield and them did, son. He just, know who he, know who he finished behind? Trevor Lawrence and Joe Burrow. That's who he finished behind. Yeah, in the nigga, Heisman. niggas who in the pocket throwing his bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's who he finished behind. Yeah. Two great niggas. He, but he was in the pocket doing it. He was doing this, son. Uh, you know. I'm saying that to see Homer still got to prove himself because he wasn't just doing it like Burrow and them. That's why you. Ain't, that's why nigga ain't believing you. That's why he had to go to Oklahoma and he. He went to it. Oklahoma. What happened? He stamped it. What what he got drafted? He stamped that second round. He stamped that he's a quarterback. When you get drafted, you second round, second round. Oh, that's cool. Though. Yeah, second round, cool. You know, so I feel like he stamped this up, brother. He didn't stamp this up. And what I like about him, Jalen Hurts. Ever since I got introduced to, since you know we got introduced to this guy, he ain't do nothing but get better, brother. Like when he first got out to Alabama, like looked like dude couldn't throw it from here to there. Simple like out route. Come back the next year, he throwing, he trying to do a little something, but they still using him as the Wildcat quarterback. When he I got the Jalen Hurts, yeah, dude. I just fucks Oklahoma, with Joe Burrow more. To me, he seemed like he take <coughs> coaching in good. He pay attention to detail good. He listen, and he the type of person you tell him to run this play, no matter how good his skills is. He going to run it the exact way coach tell him like that. Like he a good student at the game and he listen to shit. And I, I, I really think Jalen Hurts going to be a starter 10 years in his league. Son. Ten, so he's a franchise quarterback. He listen. He, he ain't about to lose that job, I don't think. I don't think dude about to lose that job. He about to be their quarterback. I really think that, brother. He, he got to let do nothing but get better. He got to let Cardell Stewart in, me, in him. I'm going to tell you. You know, we fucked up Cardell Stewart from here, bro. Yeah. We didn't even think about, we didn't even throw Cardell yeah, out. Eric. Cardell Man, Stewart Cardell from Stewart from right here, right. dog. Cardell Stewart. Slash, bro. He from right here. You heard of it? Did his thing. Yeah. Like, I ain't but on him all the way with his stats and shit. Yeah. And reading them and shit was down here. I feel like this who I'm comparing Jalen Hurts to, brother. Jalen Hurts. A new Russell. Don't turn the ball over. And shit. He's just not a natural pocket. He just had to get better. He just had I to. I saw the passing in Russell in college. That's, that's what I'm saying. Why. Only thing. Only why. Russell Wilson was ahead of the curve, more ahead than him. That's it. But comparing him, I see him becoming that. I see him becoming a Russell. Because he listened, he's smart. He he know when to pull down. Is he better than Mac Jones? He run, you know. Is he better than Mac Jones? Yeah. 
Yeah, he better. That's a yeah. I don't think that's that an easy. No, yeah, it, it depends on what you want. <coughs> depends on. I'm different. liking it. I'm liking Mac type Jones. Of quarterback. And look, I like Mac Jones. He the one put me on. I wasn't paying. You know, you don't even pay attention to Alabama quarterback. They got every position a one. Right. So we don't even pay attention to him. But when he told me like, man, the dude damn they had a year like Joe Burrow, I'm like, ain't no fucking way. Joe Burrow went clean off. The best quarterback season I ever saw in my life in college. Joe Burrow season. And, and, and his numbers damn near Joe Burrow shit. <laughs> yeah. You can't just go. I don't give a fuck who you playing with. You can't just go do that. Like what Joe Burrow was doing, bro. You can't. So, Mac Jones looking like he nice with the Patriots, bro. He, yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, these rookie, these rookie quarterbacks look good to me, bro. Pretty scary. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to get on. Uh, any disappointment so far you feel like? Any anything you saw feel like? <clears throat> team you feel like going in the opposite direction? I mean, we it's week two. It's now. week two, so you know we coming to week three. I'm pretty sure. They got they have some percentages where teams who started off two and zero the percentage of them making the playoffs and teams who started off zero and two the percentage of them making the playoffs. I'm pretty sure it's very you know different. Two and zero is probably a 60, 70 percent chance, eighty percent chance you make the playoff. Zero and two is probably a fucking ten percent chance you make the playoff. My zero and two team, I'm disappointed in, but. They opened up the season with two tough games, brother. Minnesota, but that's my 0-2 team that I think going to turn it around. That's my 0-2 team that I think going to turn Because they got too much talent, brother. They just opened up with a young Cincinnati team that was hungry. And then you played arguably the team that played the best ball the first two weeks. Them in Tampa, if you ask me. Tampa and Arizona played the best ball the first two weeks of the season. Look like to me, but I gotta go over it. But they had the best two performances these first two weeks to me Minnesota and Tampa. Now, you know, the Rams and stuff look good too, they two and on all that. But the Rams, them, they, we gonna see what the Rams work on with and Tampa Sunday. White off the bat, Tampa, Tampa, like I'm Rams. going with the Rams because the Rams beat them already with Jared Goff last year. The Rams beat them with Goff. Now, you getting the staff. That's the game of the week. I mean, it's a three o'clock game. No Antonio but Brown because of the cold. It's not no. They didn't rule him out though. Oh, they didn't. No, they didn't rule him out. He uh he fully vaccinated, and they like he just need two negative tests within twenty four hours, so he could still pass it and still be able to play. Right. But um, that's gonna be a good game. Tampa at the Rams. NFC title game preview. You know, yeah, that could be NFC title game preview right there. <laughs> Tampa the rounds for sure. The night game is Frisco, Green Bay. Green Bay at Frisco. Should be a good game right there too, though. Said by Shanahan, serious with that play calling, brother. He's serious with that play calling. Aaron Rodgers told y'all relax, man. <laughs> relax, man. Yeah, relax when you play Detroit. Who you, who you playing this week? Detroit. You got Frisco, baby. Detroit. You know them people is the worst franchise, brother, in all of sports? <laughs> Listen to me, brother. These people, look, they pulled it up. All team sports, they got the longest playoff drought. When? Them people ain't win a playoff game since 1960-something. Damn. Pull it up, brother. Go to the facts right now. Them people ain't win a playoff game since 69 or some shit. What the fuck? They done been to the playoffs, Barry and shit. Out of here, though. They ain't quit. Yeah, they ain't win a playoff game. Yeah, I got to go to that. I got to go to that right now. Yeah, I can't do that right now. You got to come to the side. They got a gate like, or you got to open it. All right, back to what we was on. Back to what we was on. What a lie that do, Big Rob. I never wake up, bitch. Uh-uh, bitch, wake up, bitch. Uh-uh, we right here.
Keep that thing street is still clutching and yeah. Bitch, some streets, bitch. Bitch, the guy got the 1500 right quick, huh, big dog? <laughs> you know me, big finesse, man. You feel me? Well, we was on, who was on, dude? Who was on that Rams and uh, Rams Tampa, big game of the week, man. If I wasn't going to New England, I'd be going to LA to that game. I ain't lying. That's the one. See, time. Now, my partner right here, he fucked up with it, right? I'm going to the Boston game, the Saints game. This nigga done been out there and all that, you know, time and shit, oh, and Patriots. Now, listen to me, right? I said, man, look, bitch, I'm going out there. What's happening? I'm thinking he going to come lead the way, you know, who I've been. He like, man, I ain't no Patriots fan no more. I'm a Tampa fan. I said, oh, damn, son. Damn, so it was just a time thing. But guess what, dude? It wasn't no Patriots thing. I'm about to say, it was just a you time. Clean- but you're not the only one like that. Well, I mean, you're not, you not a Cleveland fan no more. Nigga, nigga told me the same like, thing. Yeah, you not a Cleveland fan. I'm not a Cleveland fan. fan. I had to think about it. Yeah, I for, sure, I for sure got every LeBron jersey. You got every LeBron. team. Yeah. It's wherever he at, I'm with it. You feel me? I got to oh, get that sure, rush. Sure. I got to get that rush. But time was there 20 years, bro. I'm going to get that rush. Fuck no. I'm going to get that rush. Westbrook. Russ better learn how to shoot a fucking jump get shot. That fucking Russ. I ain't gonna lie, he gotta stop dressing like that. Huh? Yeah, we, done, we, we hit him last week with the dressing shit. Oh, my bad, We bro. got on his ass last week. Oh, yeah, we got on his ass last week. Oh, what's up with the gate, dude? Yeah, don't get on his ass. That bitch Lil went out there. Oh, shout out to Anthony Davis. Um, Congratulations on your wedding, bro. Anthony Davis got married. Yeah, Man, I don't know that nigga like Congratulations. that. Congratulations. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 Look. Yeah. Bitch, it ain't basketball. Fuck, Fuck your wave. wave. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't do him that. I can't do him that. Oh, yeah. I can't, yeah, I, I can't do him that. I can't do him that. I'm going to congratulate the man because I didn't know he had a family and kids, really. Man, I ain't I'm know that. On. We don't know the nigga. We know the nigga loved him and knew playing know basketball. That. You know, I ain't know that. He couldn't so win I that bitch on his own up. while he the nigga. He had to go by uh, the king. You feel me? I know that's what he had to do. And the king had to go by D-Wade. Don't wear a fucking shirt talking about that's all, folks. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, bitch, I spoke. The king had to go. The king had to go by D Wade. You feel me? Yeah, the king had to go by D Wade. Man, the king was the best player on the team. That's no, I'm the talking about point. he had to go by D Wade to win, to win the ring. You just say the Andy first, Davis had to go by him. I said he couldn't do it by. His, he couldn't be that nigga. Basically, yeah. LeBron was that nigga on not in Miami. Years, not Man, and it every every year, not every year years. LeBron played ball, he was that nigga. <laughs> Since he was in middle school. He done took last shots for sure. He got the most game winners in NBA hit playoff history. At, at the end of his career. <laughs> yeah. the, end of that the most game winners in Go NBA history. Yeah, you feel me? Nah, we gonna pass that bitch to whoever open. You, sh- you, sh- you better knock it down. We we gonna make and the right what? play. And NBA starting two weeks. You hear me? NBA you start. Me? NBA LeBron, starting baby. two weeks. He the best to do it. He the best to do it, man. What you said, D? Man, nigga ain't get cut from no high school team or none of that shit. <laughs> yeah, you know I've been said that. Yeah. But did he win six? Man, what he on four five? He on what? Uh, he got folk. He got folk. He got folk. He been in that bitch ten times in a row though. But look here, man. We gonna look. I, I can hit you with that LeBron all day. You feel me? Say it louder. I just want look. I just ain't count the one with the asterisk. Ain't no asterisk. Man, for sure, Kobe. Ain't no asterisk. Only one got an asterisk is Kobe. That was the hardest one. God bless his soul. <laughs> Only one. He got an asterisk. He played with Shaq, my nigga. That's an asterisk. I've been saying that. Man, come on, man. I've been saying I could have won that bitch with Shaq. Me and Shaq. I've been saying that. Uh, yeah. I've been Let me sa- get me. I've been <laughs> saying that. Me? I've been saying that. I could have won that bitch with Shaq. That's Lil when at the do. But you know what I mean. Penny would have won it with him. Everybody. You feel me? Chris Horry. You feel me? <laughs> Where the fuck is Harry come from? 
Who, Rob Horror? Yeah, Chris Horror. He fucked up with it. He talking about you, he jokes him back. Oh, Chris Horror. What's yeah, that? Mr. Yeah, Mr. Oh, Mr. Big Shot. Listen, you feel I me? Mean? My dog is props. He got big that shot, shot huh? Big Shot. It's a big shot. But yeah, but let's get back to football. But he bring me to LeBron move, bro. Yeah. He had me tripped out. All right, with the football. Oh, breaking news today. It's over with for Andy Dalton. Justin Fields started, but the coach six stars still saying, well, when Andy get ready, he's still our starter. Man, cut it out, man. <laughs> Fields is the starter, said it. Now he the starter for the next 20 years, man. Stop, <laughs> yeah, stop playing, man. Get him out of here. Yeah, Andy Dalton, bro, you the coolest back up in the league. Straight up. You done made $100 million already. He done got Cincinnati all the $100 million. People forgetting. He played out of contract in Cincinnati, brother. <laughs> Yeah, man, dude's great. Sit your ass down now and hold that board. He Justin got, Fields, He ready, got man. Cleveland, though, huh? Huh? He got Cleveland this week, huh? Cincinnati. Oh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. The Bears got Cincinnati. No, man. Bears right. just played Cincinnati. I mean, he got Cleveland. They got, he, got Miles, he got Miles Garrett and David and Clowney. And Clowney, yeah. And they ain't go to clicking yet. And Denzel Ward and them and Greedy Williams and them, man. And they'll pit and shit, boy. And Cleveland. I felt like they ain't starting because they played the Rams first. Mm -hmm. Now you got Cleveland now. Welcome to the NFL, my nigga. Welcome to the NFL. You feel me? Like, you're going to have to get bust up either way it go. However it go. That's why I said keep them in. The Bears got a good enough defense to fuck it, man. We gonna, we and he'll run quarterback, too. So, you know, get up out I of there, my dog. I like Justin Fields, bro. I just need to see more. He look good. I need to see more, though. I like Justin Fields, bro. I ain't lying. Because right now, I don't know. He might, Taysom Hill might be better than him. We don't know. I mean, fuck, he ain't played. I mean, how many college games this nigga and, uh, played? 15 or right, something? Like, right. he ain't played that many college games. They, Ohio State, they ain't playing no fucking body. So he played in that championship game. Remember that Remember that game when two went, went two or through the pass for the game winner? Justin Fields was a true freshman that night in that game. But, like, he was the backup quarterback. He played I know he night. started the year before COVID or something. That was his good late one year. And then COVID, they played six, seven games or right. something. Then he and got then drafted. They, but the year before that, he played in Georgia in that championship game with Nick Chubb, Sonny Michel. He was a true freshman on the team. Your boy Murray was the quarterback, whatever his name is. Yeah. And he was bagging them up. You know? So, yeah, I got to see more from Justin um, Fields. Another team I got to mention, bro, that looked good, bro. And I like their talent, bro. Oakland, bro. Man, Oakland, Oakland looking good, bro. Oakland got talent all over the field. Oakland bro. looking good. I, I give you that. Oakland looking good. Oakland got talent all over. So, no tour this week. They playing Oakland. No right. tour for Miami. Right. In, in Vegas. $100 million coach. The pressure on him. John Gruden doing his thing, bro. Go with him every They 2-0, and, oh, and you don't even thinking about it. Right. You ain't thinking about the Raiders being 2-0. Oh. They 2-0. Oh. Came back and beat Lamar and beat Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh. That's two big-ass wins. Yes, indeed. You feel me? Good bounce-back yeah. win for Tennessee. Down by Seattle. 20, down by 17 or whatever they would. Yeah. You got down by that much. Seattle had them like 27-9. Yeah. It was something like that. Maybe it was 14 it was or something. It was 24-9 at halftime. 24-9. Yeah, yeah. But then I think they went up after that. Yeah. Tennessee yeah. took so it So tell overtime. me this. You about to get my dog his props or what? Henry? Sound like you was trying to get it through Tennessee and get clean up out of that. Well, what's, up with, what's up with Derrick Henry? You saw my, you saw my boy saying Man, are oh, you going to give Derrick Henry some props? Yeah, Derrick Henry, I'm going to give you a prop, but you're not the best back in the league. <laughs> the best back in the league, Nick Chubb, baby. Showing you. Toting. You see the game. Yeah. So Derrick Henry ain't just show you. Yeah, he showed me something. He Man had know. three touchdowns in the second half, 150 yards in the second half. I mean, he got the most yards after contact. You don't want to hit that dude, bro. And he's burning people. Big got. old fucking alien, man. Running up the running up the field, man. I'm fucking with Nick. All right. I'm fucking with Nick. You, know, you seen Julio over there? Still looking like he's 27. Julio did his uh, thing. 26. Julio did his thing. <laughs> still buying the piss off, nigga. That's why I say he's still the best wide receiver in the league. Julio. He ain't, dude. Uh, 
I'm, I'm fucking with him, but right I'm fucking with DeAndre, bro. Can't move like Julio still. Crazy. They, 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 they threw that bitch to Julio on the fucking street the other day. I'm like, Lord, that nigga still 4 street. I'm still, you remember, the nigga forget about Julio. As big as he look, 4 three. You pull, see DeAndre pull it in up. the end zone every week. DeAndre 4-5, four, 4-3. Four, Fuck with the I still numbers want Julio, and all Julio that. better than them still. Throw this bitch his way, you gonna you catch You can't it. tell me no DeAndre Give Hopkins fuck better about than the 40 Julio. Yard dash, and that shit don't matter when you catching the pass. Oh. Who was faster? Nigga don't give a fuck. Nigga caught this bitch. Listen what I'm telling you. you that's like me? saying Kawhi Leonard better than LeBron. Yeah. How that's like that? Yeah, man. that's like that. That's like saying Kawhi Leonard better than LeBron. Kawhi Leonard, well accomplished. Great. But right now, still to this day, right now, he can't fuck with LeBron. Same thing with Julio and that boy. He great. He can't LeBron, fuck with no Julio. Same. He can't fuck with Julio. I'm giving you the comparison. LeBron, son. Julio, Julio ain't no fucking every, LeBron. Every wide receiver that's coming up, new, up and coming, dog, they label Julio as the GOAT. Julio is this generation's GOAT. Every wide receiver, they act, they just interview about that dude, man. And they, they ask all the receivers around up and coming in the league. Julio. That's who they look up to, brother. Julio set the fucking trend for this era. You forgetting? And he ain't slow down. He was just wanting to get out of Atlanta. Who, who niggas like and all that. Man, I'm you crazy, saying. boy. Julio. Julio. I fuck with Julio. Bro. Julio, top dog of this generation. Wide receiver. Since Jerry Rice them. Since the, they been gone, Julio, top dog of this era. Since Jerry Rice? Yeah, top dog. So you forgot about and Randy I mean, Moss now? Ma- since Moss and the Greats. All right. Yeah, yeah Moss, Randy. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bitch, Juli- you tripping. <laughs> Julio, the goat. Uh, Julio, the goat of this era. And, and ain't slow down yet. And I can't. I, we Hopkins ain't this better fuss than already, him yet. He not, dude. Hopkins ain't better he than him the, yet. Hopkins better than the dude, dog. Fuck no. Hopkins had niggas like me throwing in the ball. I'm like that, but fuck, I ain't, you know, I ain't. You feel me? He had 10 different niggas at quarterback. <laughs> That's and he still got the same stats as Julio. We talking about Julio. Who caught for he got eight. the same stat. Remember, he Julio had the MVP thrown in the ball. Matt Ryan, MVP. Got to the Super Bowl. This dude had 10 different quarterbacks, man. Give me that thing. Whoever throwing it, I'm catching it. It don't matter. He can't fuck with I'm Julio. I'm catching this bitch. And we got the same stats. We done pulled it up. He pulled it he up. can't fuck with Julio. Just by them having even close to the same amount look, of stats. I ain't even got to say Julio. DeAndre. I, I can't give DeAndre the best. He not the best in the game right now, brother. Nigga. Nigga can't say nigga better than DeAndre. He on the field. He never hurt. He's catching a hundred something balls, a lot of touchdowns, a lot of yards. You ain't fucking with him. Julio. Who? Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown. Mean he been going through shit lately. Antonio Brown was the best in the league for about four years for sure. Like couldn't touch him. I still feel like he gave you that type of impact, but DeAndre. Who can walk up to this dude and say, look, I'm better than you? What you going to see? Nobody. Like, what you going to say? Oh, I did a... Only person in the last two years or something could probably say that and, and fuck with him is Devontae and maybe Michael I'm Thomas. I'm going to keep it real. You know but niggas don't give him respect. With stats and Why shit. Why y'all don't respect Tyreek? Why nigga don't respect Tyreek? Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill. I throw him in there. Why nigga don't respect I throw Tyreek in there, though. I throw him in there. I... I, I he he's so different. We kind of don't look at him as a wide receiver, Tyreek. You know, he he just an athlete. He the first NFL athlete. You know how they label your athlete in college? Yeah, yeah. He the first NFL window for real. Like even though he lined up at wide receiver every down. But fuck. I ain't gonna lie. When you pull up best wide receivers in the league, them two. <laughs> Hopkins and Julio. <laughs> Best Hopkins, two in the league. Dog. Hopkins and Julio. That's what they Hopkins <laughs> the truth, fool. Yeah, Hopkins the truth. He is the truth. The true truth. Like. He'll be the best receiver of all time if he had four three speed. <laughs> that nigga that's the, He was That's the, the difference fuck the speed I, I No I'm talking that. about Game speed Yo he Jerry just Rice didn't run speed. a 4-3 He's a route runner He don't Jerry got that Rice speed Jerry Rice did not bro. run a 4-3 Them niggas got that special speed that Jerry saying, Rice brother. didn't run a 4-3 My nigga So It don't matter That what you saying Is not true Jerry Rice didn't run a 4-3 Every wide receiver in the world is going to say he the best wide receiver ever. 
he don't run a full three. So what you saying that ain't true? You don't need to run a full three. Full five is pretty fast. I just feel like you know you could put their resumes together. And, De- and, De- and, De- and DeAndre got a better Remember resume. Remember we did that? No, who, DeAndre never caught for eighteen hundred. Julio caught for eighteen hundred one year. And it was something. De- and Julio didn't do that. DeAndre did though. What? It was something on that list for sure. No, brother. Julio, Julio still the best in the game right now. And he ain't slowed down. I can't give it to Hopkins yet. Julio, they, you know. Oh, man. <laughs> man, look here, bro. We going to go on our picks, bro. It's Julio. Because you done put Julio and LeBron in the same fucking scene. The fuck? Yeah. LeBron. Ain't no fucking yeah with that. LeBron, son? Yeah. LeBron. Yeah. They got another nigga named LeBron? Yeah, LeBron James. <laughs> Julio. Julio, yeah. What the fuck? LeBron. You got to get a smoking sports picks, bro. I'm going to go out I'm gonna go out there first with, uh, with my NFL, bro. I like Buffalo again this week, bro. Buffalo giving up seven and a half to Washington. Washington got the the dude uh, had his first start. Well, I, don't, I don't know if that was his first start. No, uh, uh-uh, because he, he started last year. year. He played a little last year. He played year. last year. But, um, Heineke, oh, yeah. I think he got a tough defense with the Bills at at Buffalo. And that's one of your picks, a garbage bowl. How that's a garbage bowl, my nigga? Buffalo, one of the best teams in the league. What you mean, it's a garbage bowl? Who are they playing, Washington? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, that's my pick. What you mean? All right, and who your pick is? My pick Buffalo. <laughs> I'm talking about with the spread, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the fuck you you misloaded, man? <laughs> and, uh, bitch, that's a good pick. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give you one of my picks then. <laughs> I'm saying KC to KC to beat the piss out the Chargers. Yeah, KC about to go back on their route and shit. They think they're good with the quarterback, the rookie, and woo the woo the woo. You about to see he about to throw for one touchdown or two. And Pastor Mahone about to throw for four or five of them bitches. Show the rookie right quick. I'm fucking with that. Sure. You know, I don't I do not play with the Chiefs. <laughs> yeah, Chiefs about to start and, It's either I'm going with them or I'm not. It just seemed like the they ain't been letting them whoop the fuck out shit. Now that's about to start. The whole you know, they ain't covered nothing last year. That's like, what I'm trying to tell you. Like they beat man, everybody uh, by single digits. This, this, they always giving seven or more. And they beat everybody about four, five, six, seven points when they given 10, 12 and shit. Right. You got the light up, boss. So I'm not going to – I fuck with KC. I feel like they could cover for sure. Right, that's, so that's one of my picks, So KC. we got Buffalo giving seven and a half, and we got KC giving six and a half. What they giving? Six and a half. Six and a half or seven points. We cool with that. Now we got to go to our college. Yeah, they're giving six and a half at home to Justin Herbert in there. So, that, so what, that's KC and Buffalo, the top two teams in the AFC. Right now, the, the two AFC favorites. Well, yeah, one KC one and one, Buffalo one and one. Yeah. Um, you got that. Before we get to college, though. What you what you feel about the Thursday night game? Because usually we film on Thursdays. We we'll be telling oh, you what okay. the game. Okay, we'll be happened. telling you what the game. So we going. we gonna give you a pick How for tomorrow. How I feel tomorrow about too. Thursday? Even though this might not come out. How I the feel game, about we'll Thursday? As far as the better, I feel like you should stay away from this Thursday. Ain't nope. no staying away. Dude. No no Ty, no Tyrod Ty no Taylor. We gotta we gotta give a nigga a bet for them people who try to bet. It's all good, but you know I'm just letting for you know tomorrow. from a betting perspective, Tyreek. Uh, your boy Tyrod Taylor out. You know, who is Houston quarterback, first of all? So, all right, Carolina. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Carolina. We don't even know who playing I got to lose with Carolina. Yeah. Fuck that. They got they got arguably the best D in the league. They got a a quarterback that who don't even know. Mills. Davis Mills. It's going to be his first start. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Carolina. Carolina look like a good pick tomorrow. Good pick. 
Good they pick. giving up eight. Yeah. But look for it to be ten by the time game time hit. I look for that spread to be ten tomorrow. So we got Carolina Thursday night football. Boom. We already gave you Buffalo and KC. Now we're going to move on to college. I got a college for you too, though. You go ahead and get yours first. Certified lock. <laughs> you know I gotta, you know I gotta put that wax Certified on it. Certified lock. You know I gotta wax my noodles pick. noodles lock, you know, baby. You know, uh, you, you you know I'm about to give my pick and I'm about to put the wax on it for you. Look, Wisconsin on the road at Notre Dame. Ain't too many programs going to Notre Dame giving them points. They giving Notre the game Dame at Wisconsin. The game at Notre Dame. No. Must be a neutral side there. I about to say, cause who going to Penn State in favor if it ain't Alabama? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know you ain't going to Penn. Uh, you, you you know what I mean? I Penn State Notre Dame. You ain't going to Notre Dame favoring. Yeah, it must be a neutral side, cause right here it's looking like Wisconsin the the uh, home team, but it's not showing where. It's, I don't see where it's at. Yeah, it don't say at. It say versus. Like I, all these games say at, and this particular game right here say versus neutral side. That's what it is. I still like Notre Dame giving, I mean, Wisconsin giving Notre Dame six. That's one of my college picks. Wisconsin. I'm going to speak on that bet. Now, right here, just from uh, me betting, I've been betting about, what you say, it's 21. been betting just 10 years, 10 plus years. 10, 12. <laughs> so, look, Notre Dame 3-0, right? and right? That's Soldier Field, so yeah, it's in Chicago. In Chicago? Well, that's home team Notre Dame. What fuck Wisconsin ain't for? Fuck no, Wisconsin and Indiana. Notre Dame. Boy, that's close. No, listen, brother. Man, that's close. That's still a Notre boat. Dame roots yeah. in Chicago, brother. Like, they history. But listen, and that's a home game, That's really. like saying LSU playing at Southern Miss. It's right around the corner, my the, nigga. We all can make exactly. it to the game. You feel me? All I'm saying is. Is 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 who who is more who Notre Dame more? territory? I feel more. like that's still a neutral site. They both right. Hey, they there. both Midwest. Yeah. They both right there. But look, what I was about to say. Notre Dame three and zero. Wisconsin one and one. Wisconsin giving the three and zero team six. six and a half points. Notre Dame ranked number twelve. Wisconsin ranked number eighteen. Right. Just common sense. You might be like, well, fuck. Notre Dame ranked higher. They three and zero. They getting six and a half points. Fuck it, I might want to take the six and a half points. But that'd be the setup right there. <laughs> that'd be a clean setup. These people one and one giving six and a half to a three and zero team. I'm gonna take Wisconsin too, right off of just the just the line, just reading the line. They trying to set you up right there. Right. The undefeated team gets six and a half points. Now boom, that's your bet, Wisconsin. My bet is Arkansas and Joe and Joe Fouché. Joe Fouché and them. Out that they project. playing good, brother. They got Arkansas, they might have the best D in, in the Arkansas country. Arkansas three and zero. When you ever heard of that? Arkansas three and zero playing Texas A and M at home, getting five and a half at home. Both them three and zero. So they clearly think Texas A and M the better team. Jumbo fish. I'm going with Joe, bro. Ooh, I'm going with Joe. I wonder if Spiller playing for Texas a and Texas and them got the running back, Spiller. He a dog. They got, like, the top passing off defense in the league in the country, Arkansas. They rank number 16, Texas and them rank number 7. Tulane? Who Tulane got this week? Lock. B, what's the line? Tulane lock. Tulane, I like him. Right. I'm going to give y'all one more, too. Another one. Michigan a lock over Rutgers. Michigan giving 20. Harbaugh ain't playing. Harbaugh ain't playing. Michigan give up the 20 against Rutgers. Mm. There we go. We got Michigan giving up 20. College. Let's see, we got some other good games, too. He called that Florida the last week. I kind of got on him. I ain't want him to just be gone against no Alabama like right. that. You feel me? I want to label that shit under something. 
But Florida played them people tough. What they went for two and didn't get it or something? They went for two and stupid ass. Well, went for two and didn't get it. Quarterback held his hand in the pocket so damn long. Right. If you'd have let go, dude probably could have ran for a touchdown. He could have, yeah. Mm-hmm. But he called that. Noodles called that bitch Florida. And it was, it wasn't no real sweat with it. Fuck no. You know, they was down by what, like maybe eight, nine or something. At the no, moment. they went down 21 to three. But it was early. It was early first quarter. It's some shit like that. Early second quarter. They went down 21 to three. But they struck right back. I knew the 15 was good. Oh, and uh, yeah, home team, man. How we passed this up? Home team a lot. LSU at Mississippi State giving two and a half. I like us. That's a tough game. Yeah, that's a tough one. I like us, dude. We got more talent than Mississippi State. I like us. Yeah, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want close game like that. I don't want to act like we're a lock. You feel me? I feel you on that, too, because we haven't been playing good. Yeah, I don't want to act like we're a lock. You know, I want to get the people some good picks. Not no. You feel me? Our home team picks. But I like Arkansas, bro. Against Texas a and that's my college pick. I'm going to take them five and a half. And you giving Wisconsin, Wisconsin, give it up, Wisconsin. I like the Wisconsin pick for sure. Wisconsin and, and um, Arkansas. We got some good games this week, though, college. Mm hmm. Tennessee, Florida, Michigan State, Nebraska, K State, OK. Oklahoma, West Virginia. That's probably going to be closer than what we think. Spencer Rattler. Spencer Rattler, he was on the QB1 show and shit, dude. Uh, he nice. Spencer Rattler. And boy, when you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. It looked like just go against Clemson every week. They don't got no offense. They can't move the ball. Look, they're trying to bait you in to take them again this week. They're giving NC State nine and a half. They're not going to cover, son. Clemson, at NC State. At NC State, Clemson just ain't good this year. NC State might beat them straight up. Yeah. Remember, these people almost lost to Georgia Tech. That wasn't no fluke, man. They almost lost the game. To Georgia Tech, and it was good to people thirties. Yeah, shit. Georgia Tech, shit. Straight swilling them, the swilling boys. Over yeah, there, they man. almost lost to Georgia Tech, brother. I don't know. NC State might be good, but the uh, NC State is a good team to take with points this week. <laughs> Clemson don't got it. They can't move the ball. That's what they showing for sure. What you say, Deshaun? Clemson, that they ain't, you know, they ain't showing like they got it right now. Yeah, they ain't got it. You know, I see the same thing with LSU. They got to come prove some shit. You oh, dude, you know, LSU. One thing about uh, now nah, we got, we should have a talent. That's what the people Ooh. get the talent too. Can give you another one. Speaking up on, you know, that game LSU, give you another one. The over, take the over in the LSU. Mike Leach, Mississippi State, go score. Mississippi State going to throw it around the field. Mike Leach, they got a, that's a system. Yeah. Texas Tech, man. Mm-hmm. Crab treating up. Then he went to Washington State. For some years. Shit, shit, man. What else we got, bro? We ain't got nothing. What's up? We ain't got nothing we missing out there, bro. Uh, I'm ain't nothing too. crazy happening we ain't thinking about. You feel me? I feel like it's going to be a good week in football, though, man. It's a good NFL week, bro. It's a great NFL week. I feel good to have football back, bro. Because I want to see what Justin Fields going to do because, you know, this any given Sunday, brother. The Bears can, you know, the Bears can beat Cleveland. They got a defense, brother, but I wouldn't, you know, I'm just saying. What 0 2 teams going to make the playoffs? What 0 2 teams going to make the playoffs, bro? I'm glad you said that, Woo. Right on fucking time. 0 2, we got Detroit, we got Indiana, 
Atlanta, New York Giants, Jacksonville, New York Jets, Minnesota Vikings. My team, Minnesota. Minnesota's the only two team that will be in the playoffs. I would say out of all of them, it's out of Minnesota, and I see the Colts. The Colts got a pretty good team. Carson Wentz could get healthy. They got a good D with a good running back. Oh, guess what? Not because how they how good they is, just because they poo ass division. The Giants. The Giants. They can go because they, they, they division poo. <laughs> yeah, the Cowboys stay healthy. Cruise control, brother. Cruise control for the Cowboys. He got that on. Wow. Two and two and no Ooh. That's a good one right there. I'ma say Carolina. I'ma say Carolina. I think y'all being biased, bro. Cause I'm gonna tell you why, bro. People got to run the ball. They got a solid QB with probably one of the best defenses in the league. They got a good chance. We sleep on Carolina right now. They two and new, and they might be fucking us up, to be real. What I'm saying is, the other team I thought, it came down to them in Denver, and I picked them. Denver got a better D. How we know that? How we know Denver got a better D? They got the best D in the league right now, this year. Carolina. Number two and oh. They're in the division with the Chargers, Oakland, and KC. That's a tough division. That don't get credit. But that's a tough ass yeah, division. Right now it's tough for sure. <laughs> right now that division tough. For sure. Who not gonna go to the playoffs? The youngster. Frisco loaded with all that talent. Frisco got talent. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say though, the best, the two and no team who might not make it, is the 49ers. They in the toughest division. We had that conversation. Period. They two and no, and could go. They could lose their next six games, and I ain't even got to look at the schedule. Right. If they play anybody in their division, they could lose. Seattle, Rams, Arizona. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough, for sure. And, you know, they beat Detroit, which Detroit could have came back. And who they played is not Philly. They, they kind of shut Philly down, you know. And Jimmy, Jimmy looking like a, a Alex Smith or something. You know, managing the clock. Jimmy Garoppolo. But that boy been playing, Trey Lance. They put him in the game. Yeah, he be getting there. And saying that's why they had a new to talking about trading him or something, you know, just speculation, just because they feel like Trey Lance about to be the quarterback. But Jimmy the one doing it, handling his business. He the one playing most, you know, playing quarterback right now, but. Yeah. Jimmy, because Jimmy approved. Yeah, Jimmy approved. Jimmy, that's why I say you can't just say they ain't gonna make the playoffs. That's just that bar, that division, crazy though. Cause right now Seattle, everybody in the division two and zero except for Seattle. The Rams and Arizona and Frisco, all three of them two and zero. That's yeah. why I see. And they could have been two of those two Seattle. Three, three of them gone to the playoffs. Yeah, they, they, three coming out their division. We, you ain't got no trap game? You ain't got no trap game for them? I got an upset. I got an oh, upset. Oh, you got one? I got one. My upset pick going to be the Saints going to win in Foxborough. Nah, that's not me trying to be with my All feelings right. and nothing. All right, cool. I feel like the Saints could go out there and win, you know. I feel like we got the team to beat the Patriots. Rookie quarterback, like you see. There's no way we 
gonna be scoring seven points week after week after week. Can we get our coaches back? <laughs> We just must have been discombobulated. I feel like we're going to leave my off upset is the, like we week one. The Rams over Tampa. That's my upset. And, I don't uh, see that. That's an even game, though, huh? But they're giving one and a half. I mean, that's like the Saints game. The Saints game is three. Three, three and a half, three. I feel you. Know I mean, the Rams is the slight underdog. Oh, yeah, and I like the Bengals to beat Pittsburgh. I like the Bengals, too. Because uh, ben, ben, not, ben not going to be 100% if he play, and he might not play. Like, he might not play, you know. <laughs> Pittsburgh not running the ball well yet. Since it could hold uh, get their line together, shit, they're going to be hard. They could go over there and beat them people. And I think Minnesota bounced back this week and beat Seattle. Which that line only one and a half. In Minnesota. In Minnesota. Damn, Minnesota just. Minnesota opened up with the toughest schedule in football, bro. I don't know, bro. Think about it. Who, who had a. Damn. I would say Boston would have played the Raiders, then KC. Somebody else had some. Like even the Bears. Who the Bears had? Bears had the Rams first. Then, then the Rams. Now they got Cleveland. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Serious. The NFL just like that. What's well, Sam now wrote? A Saint Blanc, baby. <laughs> a Saint Blanc. <laughs> a Saint Blanc. <laughs> a Saint Blanc. Yeah, bitch. You feel me? Yeah. What's yeah, that? Yeah. We trying to promote that thing. What's that? Then? What we do? It. Health and wellness. Yeah, we'll, we'll, come get a ginger shot. Come get a ginger you shot. Wake that ass up. You know what I'm talking about? You wake clear, that ass up. Clear your sinus infection. Clear your sinus infection. Get the detox. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bitch. That's gonna wake up, you up. Come holler at me. I got come you. Come on, man. Get, yeah. Come Sick. holler at you. Where you at again? Two, three, four, Loyola Avenue. Eleven a.m. to three p.m. That's the hours right now. We're trying to service work at the same time. Even. <laughs> you feel me? Come get your agenda shot, organic smoothies. Yeah. Everything man. organic. You feel me? Yes, sir. Oh, look, you got in there over and under? Yeah, I got an over and under. I always got an over and under. For sure. What was my, my nice over and under I had on a tuck? All right. My under. I got an under for you. I got an under in a New England game, New England Saints. <laughs> Defensive game. We should be able to shut them down. They probably going to slow us down out there. It's going to be a tough game, a coach's game. I feel like the final sh in that game going to be 17-14, 20-17, something like that. You know, make the over and under 42 in that game. I like the under the New England game. They're going to have to win with defense. The Saints, we're going to have to play defense too. And I like the over and the Bills. Bills are lost. See, it just stood out to me that why, like, why it's 45. Before I clicked on it, I, I, I just thought 42 or something, you know, in that game. 45 and a half. Because I feel like Buffalo going to put it up. Washington got the defense and stuff, but that quarterback gonna turn it over for them. And Buffalo gonna score some parts on them. And that's what it's gonna be. Buffalo gonna score. He liable to score though. Yeah, he, he gonna score. Like he liable to get you. Buffalo gonna score their 30 parts. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Over Redskins, under Patriots. No trap game though. Any trap game. You know what? The trap game is the one you picked, the Wisconsin Notre Dame. Yeah. That's a trap game. <laughs> it's trying to make you take notes of Dame. What Notre Dame getting sick? That's six. why I explained that three and no and one and one, like that ain't three and no. Fuck it. You know, all the people who really gonna bet with them is people like my dog Ryan. He a Notre Dame fan. And he pretty much bet with him every week. Fuck it. I bet with Notre Dame every week. But they beating you in and taking them on this one. I'm undefeated, you're gonna give me six points to a team one and one. And y'all have me rank higher than them. 
Right. Right. That's trap like a motherfucker. That's trap. I got trap written all over. This Oakland and Miami game got trap written over. No two of those. That, that, that looked like trap. That's what I'm saying. Four Raiders look good. Four at I'm home. Saying, I can't think of that as trap. When the quarterback out there, all that. That's, like, that's more of a trap. That's more of a trap. I just feel like that can, most of the time, that team don't lose. But sometimes that team may prosper and win or uh, cover. You know, now, nah. you're right, though. Covering, it be traps. Because they'll get their line right on point. Fuck around, be giving eight win four. by seven. You feel me? The Raiders only give a money in four at yeah. all. That's a big line, look like. You ain't it like that, dude, man. You got we ain't it like that. CB, New, the smoking sports. How the sports? How the fact we got that eye, that blue, that belly. Ross, sit or something, man. Yeah. Let's <laughs> come up here and talk that shit.